हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जनरेशन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ दिस जनरेशन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स टेक्स प्लेस एंड हाउ द कंडक्शन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स टेक्स प्लेस सो बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस टॉपिक यू कैन कम टू नो दैट हाउ द मैसेज इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ न्यूरोन टू द अनदर न्यूरोन and then finally it can come to into our sense organ and then we just move our hand or we are responding due to the message sent by our brain so that you will understand so in our last video we have discussed one topic that is the depolarized state or the polarized state so firstly try to understand the polarized state what is the meaning of polarized polarized or the resting state polarized means when neuron is not sending any message or it is at the rest state then we can say it is the resting state so there are the different causes of the resting state and what will be the permeability of the exoplasm and the exon membrane dur during this resting state suppose this is the diagram and here it is exoplasm and that is the extracellular fluid ecf so in extracellular fluid the sodium ion concentration is more and in inside the exoplasm there is the protein concentration that is more and the potassium ion are also more inside the exoplasm but in the extracellular fluid sodium ions are more so due to this there will be positive side positive charge outside this membrane and negative charge due to the presence of the negatively charged protein and this state is known as the polarized state or the resting state now what is the cause of this polarized state the first cause of this polarized state is that that the inside this exoplasm the potassium ion are more so if these potassium ion are more then they can freely move outside they can freely move outside and due to this also there will be the because outside the sodium ion are more so positive charge is more outside and because proteins are here so that is negative charge inside that is the first case second is the on the membrane on the you can say the exolemma there is the sodium and potassium pump this is the active transport some carrier proteins are present and sodium and potassium can transfer so what happen here sodium ion and potassium ion so by this the two potassium ion they can come inside and three sodium ion they can go outside so if sodium ions are more outside then also there will be the positive charge outside and negative charge inside that is the reason and the third reason is that inside the exoplasm the proteins are more 
and these proteins are negatively charged negatively charged means proteins are made up of amino acids and amino acids have the different charge and especially the negative charge so if negative charge is there these are the negative protein and due to that inside the exoplasm there is the negative charge and outside the positive charge so we can conclude that in the polarized state or in the resting state there are more sodium ion concentration of sodium ion outside is more potassium ion concentration outside is less protein concentration that is also less because these proteins are only present these proteins are present in the exoplasm and they can't move only the sodium and potassium they can move the proteins are unable to move from outside to inside and inside to outside so at this state the membrane that is in the resting state it is not sending any message or it is not generating any message so it is known as the polarized state or the resting state and the membrane potential at this resting state that is the potential difference we can say potential difference is minus 70 millivolt that is the resting membrane potential rmp so what is rmp resting membrane potential so i think you understood now after that now after that that is the depolarized state or it is also known as the action potential means actually at this state the generation of electric impulse takes place so how this depolarization takes place let let us understand here i am drawing the diagram and inside it that is the exo plasm outside extra cellular fluid and here the sodium ions are more and due to this there is the positive charge outside the membrane and negative charge inside the exoplasm so now when depolarization occur suppose i am taking here the site a suppose this is the site a and here is the site b here also the outside the charge positive positive negative negative positive and negative so what happen if any stimulus any stimulus stimulus means ki koi signal agar milta hai isko exon ko aur kaun si site pe a site pe agar koi signal koi bahar se stimulus aata hai to kya hoga there this site a it become freely permeable to sodium ion before that active transport was there there will be the transport of the three sodium ion and two potassium ion but if any stimulus is generated at any site like a so this site means at this site the sodium channel is open and there will be the rapid influx of the sodium ion inside the exoplasm exoplasm ke andar jo सोडियम आयन ज़्यादा आ जाएगा एंड इफ देयर विल बी द इंक्रीज इन द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ सोडियम आयन देन वट हैपन देयर विल बी द रिवर्सिबल रिवर्सिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस चार्ज 
जो ये चार्ज बाहर की साइड क्या था पॉजिटिव अब यहाँ अंदर की साइड क्या हो जाएगा पॉजिटिव बिकॉज सोडियम आयन आर मोर इन साइड द एग्जो प्लाजम सो दिस पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव आउटसाइड एंड ड्यू टू दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ द चार्ज नाउ द करंट विल फ्लो फ्रॉम इन साइड द एग्जो प्लाजम फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम बी टू ए सो हेयर द फ्लो ऑफ करंट इज शॉन टू कंप्लीट द सर्किट जो करंट है वो फ्लो करेगा और जो ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स होगी साइट ए से साइट बी में देन ऑल्सो सो हेयर इट इज द कंडक्शन अगेन वेन द मैसेज इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम साइट बी टू साइट सी अगर हम यहाँ पे साइट सी ले लेते हैं तो अगेन यहाँ साइट बी पे फिर क्या होगा अगेन देर विल बी द रैपिड इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ सोडियम आयन सोडियम आयन की कंसनट्रेशन जो है वो अगेन इट विल इंक्रीज एंड अगेन देर विल बी द रिवर्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द चार्ज पॉजिटिव इन साइड एंड नेगेटिव आउटसाइड सो अगेन देर विल बी द फ्लो ऑफ द करंट लाइक दिस टू कंप्लीट द सर्किट सो लाइक दिस the transmission of nerve impulse takes place from one side site a to b then from site b to c so like this there will be the generation and conduction of nerve impulse so i hope you understood the generation and conduction of nerve impulse thank you